Picture this, an infinite cosmos, teeming with countless galaxies, each hosting billions of stars, yet, all we hear is silence. Welcome to the world of the Fermi Paradox, named after the renowned physicist Enrico Fermi. A question that has challenged humanity's greatest minds for generations. Why is it that despite the overwhelming odds favoring the existence of extraterrestrial life, we've yet to receive even the faintest hint of their existence? This question, as profound as the cosmos itself, probes the depths of our understanding. It challenges our assumptions about life and existence, and even our place within the universe. As we contemplate the cosmos, we should visualize it as a vast canvas of darkness, punctuated only by the occasional glimmering galaxy, each a swirling mass of stars. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one of these awe-inspiring celestial collections. It's a cosmic home to an estimated 200 billion stars. Each of these stars could potentially be the host to a system of planets, and among them, there may exist worlds capable of supporting life. The magnitude of this reality is staggering. When we look up into the night sky we are witnessing only a fraction of this cosmic expanse. An estimated 2 trillion galaxies make up the entirety of the observable universe, each filled with billions if not trillions of stars. Orbiting these stars may be an unimaginable number of planets. Some of these planets may be located in what is known as the Goldilocks Zone, a habitable region around a star where conditions could be perfect for life, as we understand it, to exist. If we consider the sheer scale, the odds suggest that there should be a multitude of civilizations out there somewhere beyond our reach. Civilizations that have existed, that currently exist, or that will exist in the future. Civilizations that, like us, gaze up at the stars and question their solitude. However, if these civilizations are out there, why haven't we received any evidence of their existence? Why, in this cosmic symphony of stars being born and stars dying, of galaxies merging and black holes consuming matter, do we experience such a profound silence? So why is it in this vast cosmic landscape, we've yet to hear a peep? But what if we've been listening for the wrong signals? Imagine for a moment, a world that operates on different principles than ours. The inhabitants there communicate in ways we've never known or thought about. Now let's apply this to the Fermi paradox. What if we've been searching for the wrong signs of extraterrestrial life? Our understanding of intelligence and communication is deeply rooted in our own experiences and societal norms. However, these norms might not apply to life forms in other parts of the universe. Think about it. If we're looking for a language that uses our alphabet, we might miss the one that uses symbols or sounds we've never heard before. Similarly, if we're listening for radio waves, we might miss the signals transmitted via a medium we haven't yet discovered. Intelligence as we understand it, might not be universal. Advanced alien life forms might communicate using methods that are beyond our current comprehension. Our concept of intelligence might be just a drop in the cosmic ocean of possibilities. What we consider advanced might be primitive to another civilization. The solution to the Fermi paradox might lie in broadening our horizons. We need to acknowledge that there could be countless possibilities of intelligence and communication in the universe. And it's not just about how they might communicate, it's also about when. Civilizations on other planets might be at different stages of evolution, they could be far ahead of us or just starting to develop. Either way, their signals might be something we're not equipped to understand or recognize yet. So, the silence we've been hearing might not be a sign of absence. Instead it could be a testament to our limited perspective. When we tune our telescopes and sensors to the universe, are we really listening? Or are we just waiting to hear our own voices echoed back at us? In our quest to solve the Fermi paradox we need to be open to possibilities that challenge our understanding. We need to consider that our norms might not be the norms of the universe. Perhaps the silence isn't a sign of absence but a testament to our limited perspective. As we continue to explore the cosmos we must remember this. The universe is vast and diverse and our understanding of it is still evolving. The answers we seek might be out there waiting for us to ask the right questions. Imagine a society, not unlike our own, driven by an insatiable thirst for energy and expansion. This is the heart of the superlinear scaling hypothesis. It suggests that civilizations might grow exponentially, like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering momentum and size with each passing moment. These societies would be propelled by their increasing energy demands, pushing them to reach out into the cosmos, colonizing other worlds. Picture this, an extraterrestrial civilization, advanced beyond our comprehension, expanding outwards, their reach spreading like tendrils across the universe. 
a civilization, propelled by the basic principles of survival and growth, its expansion fueled by the acquisition of energy. But here's the catch. Such growth, while impressive, isn't without its challenges. The exponential expansion of a civilization could lead to its potential downfall. Think about it. The greater the reach, the more resources required, the more complex the management of these resources becomes. Consider the logistics of managing interstellar colonies. The energy required to maintain communication and transport across vast cosmic distances. How about the socio-political challenges? The potential for conflict and disparity grows with size. An alien civilization, regardless of its advanced nature, might struggle to sustain such an extensive network of colonies leading to potential collapse. So where does this leave us in our quest to solve the Fermi paradox? Perhaps we need to consider the possibility that advanced civilizations driven by their energy demands expand exponentially, but eventually face insurmountable challenges that lead to their decline, or even extinction. The silence we've been trying to decipher might not be silence at all. Could the silence we're hearing be the echoes of civilizations that expanded too far too fast? From the birth of life to the evolution of advanced civilizations, the journey is long and fraught with challenges. To fathom this journey we turn to the Drake Equation, a mathematical formula that estimates the number of detectable extraterrestrial civilizations in our Milky Way galaxy. The equation takes into account factors such as the rate of star formation, the number of those stars with planetary systems, and the existence of life on these planets. But this equation is not without its disputes. It's a broad brushstroke on a canvas of cosmic proportions and for many, it's a leap of faith into the realm of the unknown. Enter Alan Guth's argument, which introduces a different perspective, one that involves the physics of inflation. Guth suggests that each universe in an infinite sea of universes likely harbors only one advanced civilization. His theory stems from the idea that younger pocket universes vastly outnumber the older ones, and here's the fascinating part. Intelligent life as we understand it requires a certain amount of time to develop, so if you think about it, it's extremely unlikely that our universe, among all the universes out there, also satisfies the requirements for an alien civilization to exist, let alone one that's even a second more advanced than us. Guth's theory adds a new twist to the Drake equation, forcing us to consider not only the spatial dimensions of the cosmic landscape, but also the temporal ones. Could it be that we're alone in our universe, not because life is rare, but because time is scarce? What if the advanced civilizations are there but we're just not seeing them? Now that's a thought. The universe with its infinite possibilities could be teeming with life forms that exist beyond our current understanding or perception. Philosophers, scientists, and thinkers from all walks of life have grappled with this concept. The likelihood of finding advanced civilizations is a topic that has sparked countless debates and theories. Some of these theories venture into the realm of the extraordinary, challenging our preconceived notions about life and existence. One such idea is quantum cloaking, it propounds that advanced civilizations might be hiding in plain sight, masked by the complex phenomena of quantum mechanics. This would make them virtually invisible to our current detection methods. Imagine that, civilizations thriving right under our noses, but concealed by their mastery over the quantum realm. Then there's the possibility of life in unconventional forms. We tend to define life based on our Earth-centric view. But what if life elsewhere doesn't need water or oxygen? What if it's not carbon-based? What if it exists in a form that we can't even fathom? It's a humbling thought, isn't it? Moreover, there's the concept of alternate dimensions. Theoretical physics suggests that our universe might not be the only one. There could be other dimensions, other realities where life has taken a completely different evolutionary path. Civilizations in these dimensions might be so advanced that we can't even comprehend their existence, let alone communicate with them. Could it be that the universe is full of life, but we're simply looking in the wrong places, or at the wrong times? It's a thought that reminds us of our limited understanding of the cosmos, and encourages us to keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep broadening our horizons, because who knows what secrets the universe holds. The Fermi paradox isn't just a question, it's a call to broaden our horizons. As we journey through this cosmic conundrum, we've explored a diverse array of theories and possibilities. Each one offers a unique perspective on our search for extraterrestrial life, reminding us that our understanding of the universe is ever-evolving. We delved into the superlinear scaling hypothesis, a theory suggesting civilizations grow exponentially, their expansion fueled by insatiable energy demands. Yet, this relentless growth could lead to their downfall, their silence echoing through the cosmos. 
We also considered the Drake equation and the physics of inflation. While the former estimates the number of intelligent civilizations, the latter, proposed by Alan Guth, suggests that each universe might only host one advanced civilization. This theory paints a picture of young pocket universes vastly outnumbering older ones, and time being a crucial element for the evolution of intelligent life. We pondered over hidden civilizations, possibly concealed by quantum entanglement, or existing in dimensions we've yet to comprehend. We contemplated life in unconventional forms perhaps so alien to our understanding that we might not recognize them even if they were right in front of us. And we entertained the possibility that these advanced civilizations might simply be waiting, biding their time until we reach a certain level of technological advancement. These theories, as diverse and intricate as the stars in the cosmos, underscore the importance of remaining open to new ideas and perspectives. They remind us that our search for extraterrestrial life isn't just about finding others, it's also about understanding ourselves, our place in the universe, and our capacity for growth and change. In this vast cosmic landscape, our quest for life is not just about discovery, it's about learning, evolving, and expanding our horizons. It's about understanding that our knowledge, like the universe itself, is ever-expanding. And as we continue this search, we must remember that it's not just a journey outward into the cosmos, but also inward, into the depths of our own understanding. So, as we continue to grapple with the Fermi Paradox, let's remember, in the vast cosmic landscape, the search for life is not only a quest for discovery but also a journey of self-understanding. As we gaze into the cosmic abyss we're reminded of our place in the universe. It's a humbling realization, one that strikes at the heart of our deepest curiosities and boldest dreams. The Fermi Paradox, with its perplexing silence and absence of contact, challenges our understanding of life beyond our planet. And yet, it also presents a vast canvas of potential discovery. The solutions we've explored today are not definitive answers but rather, thought-provoking hypotheses that invite us to question, to seek, and to explore. They remind us of our limited understanding, a sobering reality check that our knowledge, as expansive as it may seem, is but a speck in the cosmic ocean. Our perception of intelligence, of societal norms, of communication, is rooted in our own experiences as a species. As we project these onto potential extraterrestrial life forms, we're reminded of the need to remain open and receptive to the diverse array of possibilities that may exist in our universe. Let's consider the superlinear scaling hypothesis, the Drake equation, the physics of inflation, hidden civilizations, and the numerous theories and possibilities we've mulled over today. Each of these theories, in their own unique way, underscores the humbling nature of our quest to decipher the Fermi Paradox. The cosmic silence is not a void, but a symphony of possibilities, a testament to the infinite potential that lies in the unexplored corners of our universe. The silence is not a sign of our solitude, but a call to expand our horizons, to challenge our assumptions, and to embrace the unknown with curiosity and humility. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, we're but a fleeting moment, a blip on the radar of cosmic time. Our understanding is limited, our knowledge is finite, but our potential for discovery is limitless. The Fermi Paradox, in its humbling silence, is an invitation to the human spirit, a call to adventure, to discovery, to understanding. In the silence of the cosmos, we find not loneliness, but a reminder of the infinite possibilities that await us. As we continue our cosmic journey, let's embrace this silence for it is in this silence that we find our greatest inspiration and our most profound discoveries.